Hello teachers and students. Uh, today I'm going to introduce to you a project that you're really going to enjoy and I'm going to tell you ahead of time what you will need for this project so you can get your materials together and you can do a little bit of research outside of class time. This is called Build It and it's a project that I didn't create. It was actually created at the Lawrence Hall of Science in Berkeley, California. And the project is designed uh, not only to work as a science project to build a structure, but also to work as a team and show how teamwork and specialization will help to be successful in this project. The materials you will need for the project are simple. Newspaper, I would suggest about a 12 inch stack of newspaper for a class size of 30. One roll of masking tape for every team and two wooden dowels one half inch in diameter by 48 inches long. Those are all the materials you need. Your challenge is this. You will work as a group and your group needs to build a structure and the only building materials that can be used will be newspaper, masking tape, and that structure has to be large enough for your entire group to fit inside of at the end of a 30 to 40 minute work period. Now this structure needs to be freestanding meaning it's built in the center of a floor, not attached to any walls or any furniture, and it's freestanding, and your entire group has to get inside of it. Now, the building materials, you might wonder, how can I make a structure with newspaper? Let me give you a quick demonstration. The newspaper that you use will be folded sheets like this, and the process of making one piece of building material will be to take this newspaper and work with it on the diagonal. You will take and put the dowel in the center, do a little fold over, and then watch how I roll this. I'm rolling it tightly, and I will roll the newspaper tightly around the dowel, and as I complete this, I will take a tiny strip of masking tape, in this activity, you can use no pieces of masking tape longer than your index finger. A little piece of masking tape, and you tape the end of the newspaper down. And watch this, I give a quick reverse turn to the dowel, and it will slide very easily, in this case not too easily, out of here. This is one piece of building material. You can see it's pretty strong. During the activity, you can make as many of these as you want, and they can be taped together. They can be bent and taped with another one in any shape or form you would like. The trick is you're going to take these pieces of building material and you're going to build your freestanding structure. Now the structure can be a pyramid, it can be a patio shape, it can be a geodesic dome, any shape you would like. I hope some of you go home and do some research to find out what geometric shape makes a very strong piece of building material. These are straight, but they can be taped together into any designs you would like. Now, when you're building, you can build these as fast and as many as you want, but the trick is this. You will have team sizes, and teachers, I suggest your teams be made up of single genders. Just seems to work out better that way, but if you'd like to mix genders, that's okay. Team sizes work best around 15, so you probably will have two teams per class. When you're building, each team is going to need those two dowels, the newspaper, and one roll of masking tape. Now, teams that don't 
work out successfully generally have one boss that is doing everything. That boss is rolling the newspaper, taping them, and going over and building them into the structure. Teams that work successfully know how to specialize tasks. So they would have rollers, tapers, tape cutters, builders, carriers of materials, any way they do it. The successful team looks more like an ant colony than a group of students. While you're working, you will share responsibilities during the task. At the end of the activity, teachers will give a countdown of time remaining, and when time is up, every student in that group has to be inside of the structure. They can be standing like this if they have a tall, narrow structure. They can be rolled up on the floor like little pill bugs if they have a low standing structure. That is up for you to decide, but every arm, every elbow, every head, every part of every body has to be inside of the structure. The structure is basically a skeleton. Now I've had students that get done early enough and they have a structure and they just enjoy taking and putting single sheets of paper on top of the structure and actually making it such that it blocks out light. You don't need to do that. If you want to, that's okay. So if you have further questions, I hope that I can be there during your activity to answer them. If not, I'm sure your teachers will be able to answer them. Good luck. Collect materials. Do some research on building of structures and be ready to have a lot of fun working with the team and having a successful activity. Good luck.